The following report contains flash photography. It's a year tomorrow since Andrew Mitchell argued with police when they refused to let him cycle through the main gates at Downing Street. He's always denied he swore at officers or used the word pleb, but had to resign from the cabinet. CCTV footage of the incident cast doubt on the original police reports. Evidence said to have come from a member of the public who witnessed the incident turned out to have come from an off-duty police officer. The Metropolitan Police has launched its own inquiry. Eight people have been arrested, including five police officers who are all suspended from duty. A former chief prosecutor wants to know why it's all taking so long. It's not good enough for the police to say it will take as long as it takes. The public deserves some closure. Mr Mitchell deserves some closure. This is a cabinet minister forced to resign. If it turns out to be the case that the police are completely exonerated, fine, excellent, let's have that result. If it turns out that evidence against Mr Mitchell was fabricated, that is an exceptionally serious situation which we need to grapple with sooner rather than later. The Independent Police Complaints Commission said allegations of a conspiracy were complex and it was satisfied everything possible was being done to conclude the investigation. In a statement, the Metropolitan Police said the allegations about what happened here a year ago were very serious and go to the heart of public trust in the police service. They said they're conducting a thorough investigation with oversight from the Independent Police Complaints Commission and it would take as long as necessary. Carol Walker, BBC News, Downing Street.